How's it going guys? I got a great response to the community team of the year review, so I figured why not do a Young Guns team of the year review. And I actually seen in the banner already, there's a 99 team of the year McDavid. I did not expect that at all. I thought they would probably just save him for the offensive, just to like make the offensive insane. There's also a 99 line A, 97 Panera, 96 Murray. I'm sure uh, Marner made the team of the year as well. So let's go check this thing out as well. There's synergies. Really surprised about the McDavid still. Um, Marner's on the third line there. We got the 95 Ehlers. Uh, let's check out his synergies and stuff. Um, two points to team wheels, huge. Three points to x-ray, 97 speed, crazy shot, crazy hands, 99 hand eye. That's going to be sick for the one-timers. 97 offensive and defensive awareness. 95 stick checkings, actually a huge step for him. That's an awesome card. Here is the 99 Team of the Year McDavid. I honestly thought we had to wait a couple more weeks for him. I want this card so bad. I'm just going so hard to try and pull him. Um, I'm honestly not a huge fan of these synergies, though. Uh, two points to tape to tape, two points to breakaway boss is solid, three to shoot first, three to level-headed leadership, but, I mean, his stats, he's 99 overall, the offensive stats there, everything's 99, uh, 98 slap shot accuracy, and 96 balance, other than that, all 99, so, I mean, that's crazy, 99 offensive awareness and discipline, uh, 96 stick checking still, the shot blocking 77, doesn't really matter, um, he's got 95 strength as well, 97 durability, this is such a sick card. I have a Mova McDavid, so he's now 99 overall, which is insane. Um, I'll have to decide if I want to keep him or try and get this one, but obviously this is the card everyone's going to want to pull on packs, along with the 99 Line A. I'm not even sure what Line A's highest rated card was before this. I know McDavid had a 93, so he got a plus 6. Ehlers had an 89, so he got a plus 6. I'm assuming Line A was probably a 93 as well. Got all the way to a 99. I mean, the shot on him is insane. The wrist shot accuracy at 95, though, is still such a joke. A 99 Line A with less than 99 wrist shot accuracy. I mean, it's just kind of weird. 93 deking. Um, he does have 99 shot block, though, even though he doesn't have 99 wrist shot accuracy. 99 offensive and defensive awareness. So the card is definitely still weird, considering how he plays in real life. But uh, it's a 99 overall card. He's 6'5". Three points to shoot first and one tire efficiency, which is awesome. Like I said, this is going to be the second most sought after card after McDavid. Second line here is stacked. We got the 96 Pashnak. He's had an unreal year. Um, 99 speed on him. Wrist shot there, 99 accuracy and power. His hands are pretty much all 99 besides the puck control at 98. Um, 99 offensive awareness. His synergy is actually really sick. Three points to X-Ray, two points to Wicked Rister and offensive juggernaut. Actually, Wicked Rister doesn't even affect him though. He's already got the max. Three points to shoot first there and two points to puck hog. So that's a sick card. 96 team of the year Eichel. Let's take a look at this guy. Three points to X-Ray is huge again. Um, 97 speed, so he's a bit slower than the rest of them. Really good shot, really good hands. Only 97 offensive awareness. So Eichel actually looks to be a bit more of a defensive player compared to the rest. Um, you guys can see there his defensive stats are a lot higher than, say, like Pashnax. He's got a lot in the 80s. Um, his offensive stats are slightly worse, but still a very, very good card. Um, next year we have team of the year Nylander. I didn't know if he would make it in. But he did. He's 93 overall. Um, Synergy's there. I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really use a lot of those. But this card looks pretty nasty for 93 overall. The 97 speed there with 98 excel and agility. Really solid shot on him. The hands are sick. Uh, 96 offensive awareness. Uh, the Leafs got at least two cards. Maybe three. And here is the second. 94 overall. Team of the year Marner. His highest rated card before this was an 88. So he got a plus six upgrade as well. 99 speed. Um, that slap shot's insane. His hands 99 everything except for hand eye there at 96. Um, he's also got 99 excel agility, 98 offensive awareness, 99 discipline. This card is going to be so good. I forgot to mention too, I think Nylander is probably going to have the biggest uh, rating boost of any team of the year card. His highest rated card before this was an 83 and he's now a 93, so he got a plus 10 boost. I don't know if we'll see anyone else get that much of a boost. 94 team of the year Wenberg here. I'm actually really excited about this card. I'm really hoping he'd have a team of the year. They actually gave him four synergy points opposed to five, but all four have three points. I think I like this a lot better. Three to passing playmaker, three to face off, three to 200 foot, and three to x-ray. That's actually six synergies. Love his 89 expansion card. 98 speed, really solid shot, really nice hands. This would be such a nice card to pull. The 97 Panarin here, just another really good right-handed shot player. Not a huge fan of his synergies either, but this card is sick. He's got the 98 speed there. Really good shot on him. Sick hands. 98 puck control. It's his only hand stat, not 99. Uh, 98 offensive awareness. This is just a sick card. This team of the year is so sick. Like, I love it. Um, we've got Hapula here. Don't know who he is. 87 overall. Take a look at the synergies, though. Decent synergies on him. 97 speed there on an 87 overall card. So not too bad. You're opening up silver packs. Um, Kammer. I don't know how to say his name. Kammerer here. Um, another silver card. Okay, synergies, 96 speed as well though, really hard shot, 
not very good hands. I mean, he is an 85 overall, so I feel like these silver cards aren't as good this week as they were last week. And then we have Limblom here. His card looks pretty sick for 87 overall. Only 90 speed. He's got much nicer shot in hands than the other two silver cards. So next, we're going to check the defense. I'm not really sure what to expect for the defense. Uh, most of these forwards, I figured we would see on the team of the year. Um, 93 overall team of the year, Shea. He got a huge upgrade as well. I think he got a plus 10 like Nylander. Um, let's take a look at his stats here. Three points of takeaway and it's a trap. That's huge. 99 speed on him. He's also got like the 99 slap shot and wrist shot power. Um, his hands are not bad. Deacon and hand eye could be better. Passing and puck control, pretty solid. 96 shot block, 95 stick check. He's got the 99 body checking and strength there with durability. That is a sick card. Next here we have the Pareko. 94 overall. Um, his synergies aren't too bad. The end to end at three points, long range bombers at three points is pretty good. Not the fastest card ever. I have used his 88, I believe it was. Um, and as you can see, even his 94 only has 92 speed. Deking at 75 is a bit rough. Um, the passing and puck controller is solid. Really hard shot on him. Really good defensive stats too there. 96 body checking, 95 shot block, 93 stick check. 96 defensive awareness. Obviously, he's more of a defensive defenseman. Damon Severson here, 93 overall. Let's see him. Uh, 94 speed. Looks like a really solid all-around card. Hard shot. Again, he's got really good passing and puck control. Looks like the defensemen just have worse deking and hand-eye overall. Um, Synergies, he's got long range bomber as well, which I really don't use anymore as I find most players already have a really high shot power It's more the accuracy you need so uh, long range bomber isn't the best three points of passing playmaker though almost does that himself um, So really not too too bad uh, Ghost here 96 overall This is gonna be such a sick card 97 speed those hands though He's got the best hands of any defenseman 95 DK 97 hand die. Uh, he's got three points at wrecking crew, which is huge uh, I don't know why he has heavy hitter and iron shins. He's an offense defenseman uh, long range bomber though makes sense, passing playmaker, 98 offensive awareness, uh, he's got solid defensive stats still with, like I said, the best offensive stats of any of these team leader defensemen. The synergies though just don't make sense to me, uh, I feel like heavy hitter and iron shins could have been replaced with, say, offensive juggernaut and wicked wrister, or just, you know, something that matches him a bit better. Um, third pair here again, two more silver cards, so unless there's a bronze goalie, uh, no reason to open up bronze packs, we have this uh, juice guy, I actually have no idea to say his name. 90 overall, 3 points to x-ray, 94 speed, pretty good stats for a defenseman, honestly. He's got better deacon in hand-eye than a bunch of the gold defensemen. I mean, he is 90 overall for a silver card. Uh, 91 offensive and defensive awareness. Then we have this Fal Falkowski guy. I think this is the first ECHL player to get team of the year. Uh, 3 points to tape to tape, 92 speed, really hard shot. His hands are not good at all. Uh, he is only 85 overall, I think, it's something you have to remember. So, most 85 overall players you would just discard. Obviously, you'd be getting this guy. For his synergies as well, he does have some crazy boosted stats like the shot power, the speed, and he's 6'7". I didn't even realize that. This guy, he might be actually like a sleeper player who's actually really good. And finally here are the goalies, Matt Murray, 96 overall team of the year card. Probably such a sick goalie. Three points to Bomber, Team Wheel, Wrecking Crew, level-headed leadership. That Team Wheel synergy there is huge, especially Wrecking Crew a lot of people love. Personally, I don't think goalie rating in this game really matters, so you're kind of just buying him for the synergies in my opinion. And then we also have Linus Soderstrom. He actually plays the game, so this is kind of cool. Three points to x-ray, tape to tape, cycle game, and level-headed leadership. I honestly think I prefer the guys with four synergies that have three points to each, opposed to five synergies with, like, a mix. This just seems to kind of get more things done. Um, really good goalie, though, even though he's 87 overall. Obviously, all the synergy points. And he's got pretty good stats in a lot of areas. And he's got 96 agility, so maybe he's really good at stopping the cross crease or whatever. But this team here is honestly so much more sick than I expected. Didn't think we'd have McDavid here. Also, the ratings are a lot higher than I thought they'd be. Um, if you guys didn't realize yet, what Young Guns is, is basically any player on an entry-level deal. So uh, if you go through the list, for instance, you'll see all their salary is an entry-level deal. That's where you're not going to see young players who just got new contracts like Kucherov, Forsberg, guys like that. Um, Kucherov will probably be in the offensive team of the year. Forsberg, though, he had that two-week span where he was a beast. I'm not sure if it's enough to push him in. But in case you guys are wondering what were the requirements for Young Guns, just the best players on entry-level deal. I think this team of the year is stacked and honestly might end up being the second best one behind offensives. Let me know what you guys think about this team of the year. Like I was saying, I love it. Cannot wait to rip open some packs and try and get this 99 McDavid. We gotta get them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.